New protests popping up in response to the arrests in Tyndadega Township in Ontario, and the police presence remains this morning at the now dismantled blockade site. For the latest, we are joined by the Globe and Mail's Laura Stone. Laura, great to talk to you. Great to be here. Okay, so we, we watched yesterday as the OPP moved in uh, into the township uh, and, and slowly broke down the blockade. Uh, but a lot of us watching thought to ourselves, there's no way this is the end. Uh, you have to hold that area, and of course the country's so big that other protests are going to pop up, and that's what we're seeing. Absolutely. I mean, I think now there's a precedent that has been set because for several weeks um, we did have this blockade remain and we saw the OPP really take a hands-off position. I was at the blockades for a couple of days. They parked back. They would check in with the protesters um, every couple, um, every few hours to make sure everything was okay. But now we have seen uh, and we have heard from the Prime Minister that there is no tolerance for this. And so there is a precedent. And so I think we will see police move in more quickly quickly than we have in the past if these blockades do pop up. I think yesterday went as well as it could have for the police and the government in terms of no major conflict uh, between the police and the protesters, although we did see some of them get taken down, tackled to the ground and arrested. And that, I'm sure that's an image um, that, that, that the police don't want to, to be widely shared uh, every day. It's also a, an image I don't think the prime minister wants widely shared. He's still calling for a peaceful reso resolution after meeting with the incident response group. Let's take a clip. We demonstrated through this process that we can both protect reconciliation and protect Canada's economy as we move forward. So what does a peaceful resolution look like for this government? Well, I don't think the government really knows, Ben. I mean, they're facing a really difficult position here where they have to balance this idea of reconciliation. You have seen a lot of criticism from Indigenous leaders um, who looked at, at how the, the federal government operated and said, look, so you, t you talk to us, you dialogue with us for two weeks, and then you lose patience. That's not true reconciliation. And then on the other side, on the Conservative side, you have Andrew Scheer repeatedly calling the Prime Minister weak, saying that he should have moved in more quickly. Uh, and so, you know, if, if a major blockade like this does pop up again, I'm not sure uh, that the government really knows how they're going to handle it differently. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.